Norman's son visits home. Norman started his weekend off like any other, arose at 5.30 a.m. to have his black coffee with a dry slice of toast while reading the comics on his local paper. He chuckled softly so as not to disturb the neighbors. He had planned that day to visit the new bookstore that was due to open up today. As an avid reader, he was too excited to get a good night's rest. He only managed to get eight hours sleep. The morning drew on. I suppose I better get ready to head to the bookstore, said Norman to Norman. Just as he'd finished lacing his shoes, Norman stopped dead in his tracks. Asterisk what if I don't like any of the books? Asterisk Norman thought. Norman thought better than to go to a bookstore and leave without buying anything, it would be a waste of gas to drive the four miles just to return empty-handed. He had considered walking instead, but he heard there is a small chance of rain. Better not risk it, Norman sighed. Just as he had finished tidying his shoes away on the shoe rack, the doorbell rang. Norman jumped. Asterisk who could that be? Asterisk. He answered the door and nearly collapsed at the sight that beheld him. Son, Norman trembled. I can't believe it's you. Hi dad. I just wanted to give you a surprise visit. I've not been a great son over the years. I realize that and I've come because I miss you and I want to make amends. Maybe it's fate I didn't go the bookstore Norman pondered. Come on in son, we have so much to catch up on. He said excitedly. He gestured his arms waving him in, and turned to lead him into the living room. Suddenly a loud noise started sounding off and got progressively louder and louder, buzz 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 buzz. Just as he was about to turn and ask his son what the noise was, Norman awoke suddenly in his bed confused, quickly realized his 5.30 alarm was ringing and shut it off. Such a strange dream Norman thought. Ah oh well, today is the day we go to the new bookstore, he said as Norman purred away beside him. He was tired, he thought of sleeping on until 5.45, but rebuked himself. Let's not start bad habits, he said as he got himself up.